Hello friends, today I am going to tell you the story A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. But I'm not going to read you this story. Instead, I am going to use my special felt board to tell you it. I hope you enjoy it. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day. He had grown too big for his house. I love it. But it's just so small now, I need to find a new one. So he moved out of his house and went on a journey to find a new shell. But it is so big and lonely out here, I hope a fish doesn't come and attack me. But the next day, he came across the perfect shell. <gasps> I love it, but it's just so plain. I will just have to decorate it. So he moved in to his new shell and went on a journey to decorate his new home. The next day, Hermit Crab came across a small sea anemone. Ma, you are so cool. Would you like to come and live on my house? I would, said the sea anemone. So he gently picked him up with his claw and placed him on his shell. The next day, Hermit Crab came across a sea star floating on the sand. Ma, how handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you like to come and live on my house? I would, said the sea star. So he gently picked him up and placed him on his shell. The next day, Hermit cra Crab came across a tiny sea snail crawling across the floor. It was cleaning up all the debris in its way, leaving a nice clean path behind it. Ma, how tidy and hardworking you are. Would you like to come and clean my house? I would, said the tiny sea snail. So he gently picked him up, let him crawl right onto his shell. The next day, Hermit Crab and his friends came across a dark seaweed forest. Ma, it's so dark in there. I can't see, said the sea anemone. It's so murky in there, said the sea star. I can't see anything, said the sea snail. But then came Darting through the water, a lantern fish so bright. Ma, how bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you like to come and light up my house? I would, said the lantern fish, and he swam over to Hermit Crab. The next day, once they were through the seaweed forest, Hermit Crab came across a pile of smooth pebbles. Ma, how sturdy you are. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, said the, the pebbles. So he picked them up one by one and made a nice little wall around his home. But as the days went by, Hermit Crab got bigger and bigger until his shell did not fit anymore. What am I gonna do? I made this house perfect and these are all of my friends, but I need a new home. The next day, crawling across the seafloor was a little hermit crab. Hi, I'm looking for a new home. Do you know of a place where I could live? I do, said hermit crab. But these are all my friends. I cannot just leave them. Will you promise me that you'll take care of them if you move into my home? I promise, said the little hermit crab. So hermit crab moved out of his house and little hermit crab moved right in. It's perfect, thank you. Hermit Crab looked back and waved goodbye to all of his friends, and they went on their way. 
Hermit Crab was all alone again. Bob, this ocean is just so big and I feel so alone. I hope I find a new home soon. The next day, Hermit Crab came across the perfect home. <gasps> I love it, but it's just so plain. <gasps> Barnacles, electric eels, clownfish. Imagine all the possibilities. I can't wait to get started. And he moved in and went on a journey to decorate his new home. The end.